everyone. This is Victory on the host. Today in the workshop, that we have some roof tie making machine, and we have two types. So today I gonna to explain to you. Sometimes customers said our price may be too much different than the others, or we just can't find out what's the reason. And even we have some machine a little bit cheaper, but let's just find out what's exactly to affect it on the price part. Firstly, is this one. This machine is made for Africa customer. Somehow it's our new generation. Firstly, the machine stamping and the cutting, uh, cutting speed can reach to six to eight meter per minute. And especially you can see the machine is driven by gearbox. The pillar is casting pillar. Let's have an overview of the line. Control cabinet, hydraulic pump station, and the forming machine. First part is about the control cabinet. It's controlled, the, it's cabinet. It's coupled with misbis. And this is the machine view. You can check the cutting die and the stamping die. Even this kind of the cylinder is coupled with brass sleeve. Under this kind of structure, which means the steps to the step distance to the cutting distance is much more smaller than the old design, than the traditional machine. You can see the stamping die and the cutting die almost in the same position. And then we come to the main machine. As I explained, this machine is driven by gearbox and with casting pillar. This is casting pillar. And you can check our roller design. This is casting pillar and here is gearbox transmission. And here is feeding table. The weight of the sheet can adjustable by this hand wheel. This is the forming part of the new generation of roof tie machine. And even the structure, the basement. Then about the forming stations, somehow it depends on the, the profile design. It means how many stations of the forming machine, it's according to the pattern, it's according to the, this kind of the, the roof type. This actually quite like a Sp uh, Spanish roof type. Okay. This is our new generation of the machine. The most configuration of the line is driven by gearbox with casting pillar stands and also the cutting and the stamping speed is about to can reach up to 6 to 8 mm. Now I'm going to move to the secondary line which is our traditional line. Uh, by the way, in this line we have coupled with hydraulic decoller. It's five pound hydraulic decoller. Five pound hydraulic decoller. Okay, this is the back view of the line. Now we are going to have the lock of this line. This is our traditional line. 
This is our traditional line. Firstly, let's have a look. So firstly, let's have the overall view of the line. And it's wall panel with chain. Wall panel with chain. It's our traditional machine. And even you can see, here is a stamping die. And this is cutting unit. As I explained in the first video, in the previous part, you can see from here, stamping and the cutting, there is some distance. There is some distance, which means my cutting and the stamping have to be bigger than that distance. This is another type of the, another type of the um, roof tie design pattern. This is the control cabinet, and here is hydraulic pump. So it, it's much more smaller than my uh, new generation because this line speed is only about uh, one uh, two meter maximum is about three meter per minute. This is a big difference, which means the speed, the working speed is too much difference. The new generation is about double than this traditional one. And the secondary a big issue is about the stamping and the cutting distance. This is very different, big difference. And about the machine driving and the stand. This is a wall panel stand. But in the lower part, it's same. We will well machine the surface of the roller. As I explained, the, the station of the roller of the reforming machine is according to the pattern or according to the roof tie pattern we make. So obviously this line is much more longer or it combines more stations than that first one. This is the simple feeding table. This is a very simple feeding table. The weights of the sheet just moved by this kind of screw. is the general view of the traditional roof tie machine. The design of the roller somehow is similar, but the machine structure, the driving way, and the working speed, everything will be different. If you buy one set of the new generation, which means you have two sets of the old generation, but actually, the price won't be double than the traditional one. Actually, it will make your daily productivity double than traditional one. If you already have this kind of old generation, it's a good moment for you to consider about this kind of the new generation. So we, let's have some review about this new generation of the machine. Okay. If you already have the old generation and nowadays you're trying to uh, expand your business for more different patterns and you would like to have more heavy productivity in, and shorten the delivery time to your customers. So it's good time for you to consider about our new generation of the machine. It's really good moment.
as a gearbox transmission. This is our roof tie series. And welcome to Lotus for your solution. And don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you for your time.